please tell us your name. Brad Coates. Nice to meet you, Brad. So we are here um, outside Port Street Mall talking to folks about fake news. So what are your thoughts? Has there been a story that's come on lately that um, has either fooled you, surprised you, tricked you, or you used to trick somebody else? The problem is that the real news is so depressing, I almost, <laughs> I almost prefer the fake news. <laughs> okay, that is understandable, but also off topic. There's got to be something. We've all seen stuff in our in our Facebook feeds. You know, the, the, the onion in particular, I have to admit, has fooled me before. I've seen something because there's such a fine line, I think, between some of the true stuff and some of the made-up stuff. Well, I, uh, I mainly, you know, get my news out of real news sources, so I don't I don't got spend it. a lot of time getting fake news off of fair, social fair, media. Fair enough. Maybe I, that's I, a safe way. What I, are the sources that you prefer? Well, I watch about, you've got to watch four different TV channels to get any real news anymore. The real news used to be when Jay Fidel and I were around, you listen to Uncle, Uncle Walter Cronkite tell you the news, and that, that, was the that was the damn news. Now you've got to listen to NBC to follow, balance out, or MSNBC to balance out Fox, to balance out CNN. It's crazy. But, uh, but most of the time I listen to real news. I, you know, I have to get four different channels to get it. And you have to, and there, so there is sort of an element of um, sifting for yourself. Yeah. Well, why not tell us a bit about some of the, the, the crazy or depressed, the things that have been depressing you in the news? <laughs> well, it's, uh, you know, watching Trump go nuts is fairly insane. Watching the responses to Trump going nuts are equally insane. So it, uh, it's pretty, uh, everything seems to be pretty hardwired and dug in right now. You know, does it feel like, you know, that, that do, you, do you feel... Does it feel like that folks that you know, folks you know on Facebook, are sort of more engaged with politics and the stuff that's going on since since Trump took office? Well, I think everybody's everybody's gotten super engaged. Nobody's neutral about Trump. Everybody everybody's got an opinion. So there's there's definitely a, a hardwired you know approach to going after him. So. Have you, we'll have you experienced people sort of having family arguments? Or oh yeah. Friends? Yeah. Yeah, tell us about I mean, something you may have heard of. You don't have to use names. Well, if, you know, if I were to say anything remotely nice about Donald Trump as compared to Hillary Clinton, I'd be getting divorced. My, <laughs> my, my wife is a self-made self -made businesswoman, and they all idolized Hillary Clinton, and, uh, and they just you know, can't stand Donald Trump. So it's problematic. It's problematic. Even the stuff that he wants to do that may or may not be you know, right is still going to get hammered, right? I mean, you know, even when he tries to do something that could be potentially a good idea, I mean, you know, trying to keep an idea, some idea of who's coming into our country is probably not a bad idea in the abstract. But uh, but by the time you get through everybody getting all charged up about it, it's a uh, it's a problem. So I know it's it's really hard because yeah, we, we, I think everyone wants to see America. Not everyone, but you know, people, <laughs> good-hearted Americans. You know, we want to see you know good things happen in our country, and we want to be able to take the good with the bad. It's, it's too bad that social media can't do an, a more immediate Gallup poll of, you know, some of the some of the responses. I mean, you know, you hear you hear Fox News say, oh, all of America supports Trump and it's only this crazy court and circuit court of appeal, this court of appeals that's that's blocking him. And then you hear everybody on the coast say, no, everybody hates Trump and uh, and, and his favors, you know, un unlimited immigration and uh, and Trump's an ass. And there's got to be, you know, I'd be curious to know what the real sense of the country is. It's I mean, very the closest hard. thing we've got to the real sense of the country is that Trump got elected. So I, there, I may, there may be more people that actually appreciate what he's doing than, than what the media is going to report. I mean, I was definitely underwhelmed. I'm not a Trump guy. I didn't vote for him. But when I saw, after Director Comey came out with that FBI thing at the last minute, and I saw all the media flip, thinking that, oh, my God, maybe we really are going to lose to this clown. Then that was a, that pretty much tipped their hand too as to what they were all up to. You know, all of a sudden every single station except for Fox suddenly went hog wild trying to nail him as they thought that the election might be slipping away. They gave up any pretense of neutrality, so that's not good either. Yeah, I think that it's increased distrust for the media and the news, and it's something that um, Donald Trump seeks to exploit. Yeah. I mean, why else? Would he be so freaking stupid to keep tweeting the way he does? I mean, obviously, that's that's bound to cause all kinds of problems, and he's not that stupid that he doesn't know that's going to cause the terror. He obviously feels that he's got to get out directly out to, you know, the, the masses 
unfiltered by the media. So, I mean, he thinks that everything the media does is fake news, I guess. I mean, that would be his, that'd be his opinion. I mean, when you see a 